and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man and today I'm going to show you guys how to make hydrogen ice cubes. You may really be asking yourself, why would I want to make hydrogen ice cubes? There's actually many different purposes for hydrogen ice cubes. You can use the hydrogen ice cubes when you do the breathing thing, the breathing option on the Lourdes, because you can put the hydrogen ice cubes in the water and you know the colder temperature, whenever water is colder, there's gonna be higher concentrations of hydrogen. So you might get a little bit more and you'll feel a nice, cool, misty feeling when you're breathing it in. So maybe if you're in hot temperatures, it might even cool you down. Another option for hydrogen ice cubes is you can put it like in your juices or if you have a container and you wanna put hydrogen ice cubes to keep it cool and maybe keep the concentrations of hydrogen higher for a longer period of time, or maybe even you could use it in a cocktail or something. Whatever you guys use ice cubes for, you can use hydrogen ice cubes. So let me show you how to make it. So first of all, you actually, I'm using the Lourdes here, and I actually personally think that you probably wouldn't be able to make hydrogen ice cubes with any other machine other than the Lourdes. And the reason is because the hydrogen leaves the water so quickly. But because the Lourdes makes the water the way that it makes it, hydrogen lasts a very long time. Uh, so that would be the only way that I think would work. See, I put a little cap on my ice cube tray, and all I do is I take it over here to the freezer, and then I just put it in there. And I'm just gonna leave it in there until they become ice cubes. And that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, as always, if you're liking the videos, and plus it helps the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.